A Robbinsdale woman is hoping her passion for knitting and crocheting will translate into a successful business. But for Kelly Sadler, success isn't only measured by money. Cassie Bonstrom explains. These are all fair trade yarns here. So these are spun by women in India and Nepal. The shelves are stocked. We have some alpacas and silks. These are all hand spun. And now Kelly Sadler is waiting for customers to come in. So it's a lot of handshaking, a lot of word of mouth. The Robbinsdale artist turned business owner opened Palette and Pearl eight weeks ago. Yeah. A dream yeah. she's had since she was little and watched her mom. I remember her shop very clearly and how much I loved that shop. So it's always kind of been something I've thought about doing. The store is now open in downtown Robbinsdale. To show your bird town pride. But Kelly is adamant she's not putting profit um, over passion. Yeah, it's this isn't about me making a million dollars. This is about doing something you love and being able to have a reasonable life. She wants to make knitting accessible to everyone. On Wednesday, for example, she offers free help. So if you have a project you're stuck on or a stitch you're struggling with, you can come in no cost on Wednesdays mm. and we'll sit down and work it out together. She yeah. also has a living room set up and for groups. Is, anybody can come and use this anytime. To work on humanitarian so projects bear like bear. the Mother Bear Project, which sends homemade stuffed bears to Africa. The idea is that you have the ability to create something that's beautiful and use that thing to change somebody else. And that's kind of the goal of the shop is to empower people to do that. She admits business is slow, though it's picking up as word spreads. Some felting projects. She's also using a crowdfunding page to ask supporters for additional funds. This is the nut and bolts. This is the lights on, the technology. This is the yarn that you buy. This is the sign out in the front, <laughs> you know. It hasn't been an easy road. The mornings are pretty quiet. But she's optimistic her dream can be sustainable long term. I'm not looking to make a ton of money, but I'm looking to inspire others to do things that are that are great, you know, really find the best in themselves. In Robbinsdale, I'm Cassie Bonstrom, 12 News. If you're interested in Pout and Pearl's classes or events, you can go to our website at 12.tv. We'll also have a link to her crowdfunding page if you would like to support her business. Sounds like a great place where you even could maybe learn how to knit. Yeah, I'm not sure that, that I could learn <laughs> no, how to knit, but I, people I'm not sure who I can could do either. that, it's, right. they do wonderful It's amazing, work. Yeah. beautiful work.